So, uh, something I'm working on, guys, uh, the latest version of Blender uh, has dropped, and I'm really excited because two things have happened which I've been waiting for them to happen. Number one, Freestyle is back. It renders a lot faster. It still only works with Cycles and not Eevee, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I am so happy with that. I'm down with it, and uh, I'm really over the moon. All the settings are back. That's great. Second thing that I was really, really waiting for, um, Eevee now allows you to make these uh, settings on your node groups. And I've just been taking some time today to work on this. Uh, one of my tune shaders here uh, that's available to Patreon supporters. Uh, I'm basically packaging them up into nodes that you'll be able to just import very, very simply. And I'm just taking the time to put a few settings on the outside. Now, if you wanna sort of see what these look like on the inside, it's not pretty. <laughs> okay, there's a bunch of stuff going on. There's a few color ramps and a few things that are sort of generated by Fresnel nodes and color ramp settings. The only thing I've done here is added a halftone texture that I generated out of some program, um, uh, but which works really, really great. And maybe in future, I might see if I can, you know, uh, figure out some settings that, uh, you know, allow you to manipulate this mapping node that's inside of this bit of a dog's breakfast of, of nodes. But what's really cool is that we can control a lot of parameters to get a really nice tune look. Okay, so let's just take a look at this metal sheen here. Um, okay, that's the that's the red part. All right, uh, you want a good tune look? Let's let's look through the camera. Uh, so we can see the half tone there. Uh, we can change the color, okay? Number one, there's a color swatch and you can plug in whatever color you want uh, or pick it from this uh, circle, great. Now this thing called shadow is basically this um, normal map uh, that that's here and this can be basically increased to, uh, I think it's between zero and five so you can have none of it or you can have all of it uh, and somewhere in between, uh, it will take the contours as generated by the normals. Uh, now, one thing that I am still working on is normal direction because this isn't light. Um, it doesn't sort of key off the light. It key offs the object's own normal. So your lighting situation is not going to affect where this line is, is set. And this could be a bit of a problem. So in future, I'm going to take a look at setting that normal direction. But for now... Uh, this gives us a very satisfying uh, tune shade for comics. All right, this thing called halftone fade. Take, uh, pay close attention to where this halftone kind of fades out into this uh, lighter area. You can actually remove the halftone altogether by hitting, going to zero, or you can have it creep up ever so slightly. Uh, it's about six point six there, point sevens there, uh, right up until it meets that um, that edge over here. Okay, so you can have a complete thing of halftone uh, with no shadow whatsoever. So you can have just a block of halftone. Uh, but somewhere in the middle is, is sort of like the sweet spot to give you this sort of double shading effect. I think one is the default here. Okay, edge thinness. This edge on the outside over here, uh, we can have almost no edge or we can have, again, this sort of brings in that shadow, but it's from the edge of the um, the object. It's not from the normal. So this is sort of uh, like a colored edge you sometimes see around things. And so I'm going to sort of leave it there. Uh, now this one, this these two things uh, operate this sheen over here. Now uh, some airbrushed comics often have this extra sheen to kind of give it a bit of realism. So they'll they'll have this normal line, but then they want this, this extra bit of, of stuff. And so what we can do is we can make this a very um, intense uh, gloss, or we can make it a very diffuse sheen that's almost non-existent. Uh, but somewhere in between you can sort of see what it does and you can increase the value and you'll notice something really cool is when you increase the value it increases the value of the overall shader especially here not so much the edge I might take a look at that again in a future release but uh, you know you can sort of really brighten that up and make this very very intense if you wanted to um, but I'm just going to set it back to its default 
okay? Uh, and uh, so there, there you have it. There, there's a few things that you can play around with uh, to get a really nice tune style texture. And this is an EV shader, which is even better because, you know, EV renders so quickly and everything is about EV right now. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and package up all of these uh, before I update it and re-release it uh, to my Patreon supporters. Uh, this is what I'm working on, guys. Uh, I hope it uh, is of interest to you guys. And uh, yeah, look, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, see if you can support me on Patreon if you want. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.